After studying this module, you will be able to understand the characteristics of tertiary phosphine ligands such as electronic and steric effects and also learn about the reactions of phosphine based metal complexes. Phosphine PH3 is a highly poisonous gas which has significantly weaker intermolecular attractions than ammonia. It has a much lower melting and boiling point than ammonia. Due to problems in handling phosphine, it is hardly used as a ligand. On the other hand, substituted phosphines are easy to handle and are a set of ligands that are being used frequently. Tertiary phosphines, PR3, can bond with various metal ions and act as important ligands in coordination and organometallic chemistry. Like ammonia, carbon monoxide and cyanide, phosphines act as sigma donor ligands by donating the phosphorus lone pair to the metal ions and also behave as pi acceptor ligands as carbon monoxide and cyanide. The sigma donor and pi acceptor abilities of the tertiary phosphine ligands can be altered easily by varying the R group. A large variety of phosphine ligands and their metal complexes are commonly known in organometallic chemistry, which is evident by the versatile applications of these complexes. Some of the phosphine ligands and phosphine catalyst are shown in the figure. The stability of the metal phosphine bond in the metal phosphine complexes is a function of the electronic and steric effects of the phosphine ligands. The ligands possessing acceptor orbitals have the ability to accept charge density from the bonded metal ion, which in turn depends upon the crowding of the ligands, the electronic effects. In carbon monoxide ligand base metal complexes, the pi antibonding orbitals on the carbon monoxide ligand act as the electron acceptor orbitals, whereas in phosphine ligands, the sigma star orbitals of the PR bond are the acceptor orbitals. The PR bond sigma star orbital accepts electron density from the metal ion and acts as the acceptor orbital in the phosphine containing metal complexes. This is called back donation. The orbital gains stability and hence becomes lower in energy as the electronegativity of the R group increases. This increases the size of the sigma star orbitals making the empty sigma star orbitals more accessible to back donation. This back donation also lengthens the metal phosphorus bond, making it weaker. Thus, with the increase in the electronegativity of the R substituents, the metal phosphorus bond becomes weaker. Having established the effect of electronegativity of the substituents on the phosphine ligands, the pi acid character of the various phosphine ligands can be arranged in the increasing order as follows. Trimethylphosphine, less than triaryl-phosphine, less than trimethylphosphite, less than triphenylphosphite, less than trichlorophosphine, which is less than trifluorophosphine. Since alkyl groups do not contain pi orbitals, alkyl phosphines are poor pi acids whereas aryl and alkoxy phosphines are considerably superior pi acids. Trifluorophosphine containing the electronegative fluorine atoms has pi acidity comparable to that of the carbonyl. The steric effects. The electronic effects greatly influence the stability and properties of a metal ligand bond. The second effect that has a profound impact on the stability and properties of the metal phosphine ligand bond is the steric effect. 
which can be adjusted by changing the R group on the phosphine ligands. Influencing the properties of the metal complex merely by changing the R group is one of the advantageous properties of the phosphine ligands. Steric effects can be evaluated as the extent to which crowding or bulkiness of substituents on the ligand around the metal ion influence the metal ligand orbital overlap. The bulkiness of the phosphine ligands has been quantified by Tolman in terms of cone angle and percent buried volume. If we look at the figure, we will see that in a metal phosphine complex, the cone angle is the angle theta of a cone that contains the van der Waals radii of the outermost atoms of the ligands when the apex of the cone we have the metal. The person buried volume has emerged as a new method of classification of ligands. Steric bulk which is the percentage of the probable coordination sphere around the metal ion that has been occupied by the ligand. Both these parameters correlate well and provide a qualitative picture of the ligand steric bulk for a variety of tertiary phosphine ligands which have been summarized in the form of the table. Hence, it can be concluded that the bulky phosphine ligands that is phosphines containing bulky R groups lead to crowding around the metal ion which leads to slight elongation of the metal phosphine bond with ultimate weakening of the metal phosphorus bond. Hence, larger the cone angle, lesser is the stability of the metal phosphine complex. Therefore, the cone angle data which is a measure of the bond strength of the metal ligand can be correlated with the rate of dissociation of the phosphine ligand from the metal ion in a chemical reaction. The donor abilities of tricyclohexyl phosphine PCY3 and tri-N-butyl phosphine PNBU3 seem to be comparable due to similar donor atoms. Whereas the 160 fold increase in dissociation rate of the tricyclohexyl phosphine complex can be attributed to the larger cone angle and hence greater steric bulk of the tricyclohexyl phosphine ligand as compared to that of the tri-N-butyl phosphine ligand. For example, in reactions as shown, the ligand steric bulk influences the ligand substitution reaction rate. In such a reaction, the rate of the reaction for the most bulky ligand is more than 64,000 times greater than that for the least bulky ligand. Bite angle. Chelating phosphine ligands of the series PPH2, CH2N, PPH2 usually results in a cis arrangement of the two phosphorus atom and disfavors ligand dissociation due to the chelate effect. As can be seen in the figure, bite angle is the PMP angle made by the two phosphorus atoms of the chelating ligand and the metal ion. Two large bite angles, that is angles greater than 90 degrees, and two small bite angles, that is angle less than 60 degree, result in the lower stability of the metal complex. Now we will study some reactions of phosphine based metal complexes. The first reaction we will study is alkene hydrogenation by metal phosphine complexes. A number of active metal phosphine complexes such as chlorotris triphenyl phosphine rhodium 1, dichlorotris triphenyl phosphine ruthenium 2 and tris triphenyl phosphine rhodium carbonyl hydride carry out selective catalytic hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes. As you can see in the figure, the reaction pathway for these catalytic reactions include oxidative addition of dihydrogen to the catalyst followed by dissociation of one of the phosphine ligands and coordination of the olefin. 
the final steps involve reduction of the olefin by formal hydride migration to the pi bound olefin to yield the sigma bound alkyl which is then dissociated from the catalyst through reductive elimination. This step is also called 1-2 insertion and is the rate determining step of the catalytic cycle. As the selectivity of these catalysts is a result of the bulky phosphine group, the selectivity can be improved by using phosphine ligands with different cone angles. Several other transition metal complexes including RuCl2, PPH thrice, thrice are highly effective for the selective reduction of the dyes to monoolefins. Hydroformylation reaction, one of the largest and oldest industrial processes that involves homogeneous transition metal catalysis is the hydroformylation, which includes the addition of hydrogen atom H and a formyl group CHO to an olefinic double bond. The catalyst used for these modifications is RHH CO twice PPH3 twice which is also called by the name Wilkinson's catalyst and the catalytic cycle is shown in the figure. The D8 5 coordinated species has a trigonal bipyramidal geometry which undergoes phosphine ligand substitution by an olefin molecule where it is bonded with the metal ion through its pi electrons. After subsequent reduction of the olefin by hydride transfer from the catalyst, the resulting bonded alkyl undergoes carbonylation by the alkyl group migration to one of the carbonyl ligands. The resulting metal complex then undergoes oxidative addition of dihydrogen followed by reductive elimination of the aldehyde as the product. The original catalyst can be recovered by final carbonylation using carbon monoxide. Metathesis catalysis. A typical Grubbs catalyst that can carry out olefin metathesis is shown where X can be Cl or Br and R can be a cyclohexyl or a phenyl group. Grubbs metathesis catalyst possess lesser catalytic activity than other potent catalysts such as Schrock catalyst but they are less sensitive towards water and oxygen. The bulkiness of the phosphine ligand is one of the essential requirement for these catalysts which facilitate phosphine dissociation and is the key step in the proposed catalytic mechanism. And now let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Phosphine ligands are an important class of sigma donor ligands like ammonia, carbon monoxide and cyanide. They exist both as mono and polydentate ligands. A large number of inorganic and organometallic compounds are known to contain phosphine or phosphine derivatives as spectator ligands. Wilkinson and Grubbs catalyst are few extremely important organometallic catalysts which contain the triphenylphosphine ligands. There are various characteristics of phosphine ligands that affect the bond strength of a metal phosphine bond in a complex. First is electronic factors. The electronegativity of the substituent group on a phosphine ligand influences the ability to gain electron density in the ligand's antibonding orbitals. The bulkiness of the substituent on the phosphine affects the metal ligand properties of the complex by increasing crowding at the metal ion. In chelating phosphine ligands possessing more than one phosphine groups, the PMP angle called the bite angle favors a stable metal ligand bond when this angle is between 60 and 90 degrees. The metal phosphine complexes display various types of important reactions such as alkene hydrogenation, hydroformylation and olefin metathesis.